Hello, welcome to Learning Every Day with me, Lisa Aaron. This channel will benefit teachers, homeschoolers, and students of all ages. I'm here to help you learn. Join our learning circle and subscribe. Hello, today we're learning about clocks and telling time. Learning about clocks. What is telling time? Time is when something happened, happens, or should happen. Time is important. Time tells us when we should go to school, work, and do other things. We use clocks to help us tell what time it is. Telling time using a digital clock. Here's a digital clock. We have the hour being 12. We still have the clock face. We have the seconds divided by colons. And we have the minutes. telling digital time on the half hour. When it is 30 minutes or something 30 on a digital clock, the minutes will read 30. This clock says 30 minutes past 2 or 2.30. The 2 is the hour. The colon sometimes blinks the seconds as it goes by and then the minutes are the 30. So it's 30 minutes past 2 or 2.30. Here's your digital clock, and here's your analog clock. What time is it? It's on the 3, so it's 3, 15. That's what the digital clock says, and analog clock. What time is it? Three o'clock. I put the hours in blue so you can see, and I put the minutes in red on the digital clock. What time is it? Three thirty-five. What time is it? Three. It's not quite on the four yet. 3.50. What time is it? It's on the four. And it would be o'clock, zero, zero. Zero, zero means o'clock. What time is it? 4.10. What time is it? Six fifty five. What time is it? Four oh five. What time is it? Remember, it's halfway past. You can say it several ways. Three thirty or half past three. The right side was past. And the other side would be 2, 3.30, or half past 3. What time is it? 3.45. What time is it? 3.05. What time is it? Four twelve. What time is it? Four twenty five. What time is it? Five oh three kind of guessing a little bit because I don't have the, the minute little notches to exactly tell me. What time is it? What time is it? Four 
20. What time is it? We know it's not at the 5 because we're looking at the minute hand. It hasn't gone past the 12, so we know it's still 4. 4.55. What time is it? Three, ten. What time is it? Three, twenty. What time is it? Three twenty-five. What time is that? It's directly on the twelve, so it would be five o'clock. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Telling time by the quarter hour. Different ways to say the time. You can divide an hour, which is 60 minutes long, into four parts. The parts are divided by 0, 15, 30, and 45 minute marks, as shown in the picture below. Each of the four parts are called quarters. In the table below, you will learn some ways to say the time using the word quarter. Okay, let's look at this clock. The very top is still o'clock, but then at the 15, we can say quarter past. 30, we can say half past, just like we've been doing. Instead of saying 45 two, we could say a quarter to. Now we're learning to count by 15 minutes. 15, 30, 15 and 15 is 30, 30 or half past the hour. 15 minutes and 15 minutes and 15 minutes is 45 minutes. Now when it's complete, it's at the o'clock. This is just a reminder. If you look at the, in the red, you see o'clock, quarter past, half past, quarter to. This is a very important diagram of the clock. It deals with two on the left and past on the right as the reminder of when to use the word two and when to the, use the word past. It also has the quarter past, the half past, the quarter to, and the o'clock. On the very left, what time is it? A quarter past 10. And the next clock, 8.30 or half past 8. The next clock. A quarter to two. The last clock would be six o'clock. What time is it? On the left, very left. A quarter past twelve. Half past nine would be the next clock. And then a quarter to five. It's 15 minutes to five. And then we have five o'clock. On the very left, let's read that one. It would be 3.30 or half past three. The next clock would be 10.30 or half past 10. The next clock would be a quarter to five. And then we would have four o'clock. Time, ways to say time. If you look at the first column, it would be four o'clock. Then look at the next one, 2.15 or a quarter past two. The next one is 6.30 or half past six. The next one is 2.45 or a quarter to three. 
Then we have 7.50 or 10 to 8, meaning 10 minutes to 8 o'clock. 8.11 or 11 minutes past 8. 11.48 or 12 minutes to 12. 12 o'clock, we can say noon, the middle of the day, or midnight, the middle of the night. Jane is going for a jog. She tells her friend that she will be back in a quarter hour. How many minutes is that? A, 25 minutes, B, 45 minutes, or C, 15 minutes. It's C, 15 minutes. When we talk about a quarter, dealing with time, because we're dividing the clock into four, and those would be 15 minutes each. So it wouldn't be like money where it's 25 cents. It's a quarter, because we're dealing with time. Okay, this clock above shows 9, 15. True or false? False. The hour hand is on the eight and not the nine. The time is 8, 15. It started to snow one half hour ago. The clock shows the time now. What time did the snow start? Write the time in a different way. I would move the minute hand back counterclockwise to 3.15, a quarter past three. Mike got home an hour ago. The clock shows what time it is now. What time did Mike get home? He got home an hour ago. A, a quarter after seven, B, half past seven, or C, a quarter to seven? A, a quarter after seven. The frog jumping contest started at 4.15. It ended at 4.50. How long did the contest last? Use the clock to help you. Hint, count by fives. A, 25 minutes, B, 35 minutes, or C, 65 minutes. A, 25 minutes. What is another way to write a quarter to seven? A, 15 minutes after seven, B, 15 minutes before seven, or C, 45 minutes before seven. B, 15 minutes before seven. Every quarter in a clock is 15 minutes. These problems are for older children to look at and figure out. The young child would have difficulty with this. This is second to third grade problems. Find the elapsed time from 11:13 to 110. I start by rounding the numbers 11 to 1 is 2 hours and some minutes to get an idea of the answer. Work with minutes first to bring this to the hour. 60 minus 13 is 47 minutes, then another 60 minutes making it 2 hours plus 10 minutes. 47 plus 60 plus 10 minutes equals 117 minutes. Now, to change this to hours and minutes, I have to figure out how many minutes go into 117. 117 minus 60 is 57. Compare 57 is less than 60, so minutes are 57. The answer is 157. One hour and 57 minutes. Find the elapsed time from 7.15 a.m. to 9.35 a.m. I start by rounding the hours to 7 to 9 to get an idea of the answer. Work with minutes first to bring this to, one, to the hour. Subtract 60 minus 15 equals 45 minutes, then another 60 minutes, making 2 hours plus 35. So 45 plus 60 plus 35 minutes equals 140 minutes. It's important to figure out your minutes first and then finding out the hours. Now, to change this to hours and minutes, I have to figure out how many minutes go into 140 minutes. 60 plus 60 is 120 minutes. 140 minus 120 is 20. 
Answer is 220. Two hours and 20 minutes. Find the elapsed time from 12 10 p.m. to 2.45 p.m. I start by rounding the hours 12 to 2 is 2 hours and some minutes to get an idea of the answer. Work with the minutes first to bring this to the hour. 60 minus 10 equals 50 minutes. Then another 60 minutes making 2 hours plus 45 minutes. 50 plus 60 plus 45 equals 155 minutes. Now to change this to hours and minutes, I have to figure out how many 60 minutes go into 155 minutes. 60 plus 60 equals 120. 155 minus 120 equals 35. The answer is 235. Two hours and 35 minutes. I've enjoyed learning with you. If this was helpful, subscribe for future videos. Check out these books for their academic usefulness.